Revelation chapter 3, Jesus is speaking to the church at Laodicea. He has some pretty uh, strong things to say to this this church. If you want to look at the Israelites, like through their actions, they're pushing God outside the camp. Almost. Well, that's kind of what the church at Laodicea did. They kind of kicked Jesus out of the church. You know, they think they're so wonderful. What do we need Jesus for? Mm-hmm. Little do they know. Uh, Jesus said, no, you're actually pretty, pretty wretched. Look at Revelation 3, verse uh, 20. Jesus said, behold, I stand at the door and no. knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will con- come in to him and dine with him and he with me. To him who overcomes, I will grant to sit with me on my throne as I also overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Now, I know how this verse is usually uh, used. We've all seen that little card in the painting and the track, right, where Jesus is standing outside of the, the door knocking and there's no doorknob and people always point that out. So this is how this verse is usually uh, taught, that he's he's knocking on the door of the lost sinner's heart, saying, let me in so I can save you. Right? We've all heard that. Mm -hmm. That's the most common interpretation of this verse. And metaphorically, Jesus, he's doing that. I believe he's knocking on the door of lost sinner's heart. That's all fine and good. But that's not what Revelation chapter 3, verse 20 says. Uh, is saying what's the actual context what's Jesus knocking on the door of the lost sinner's heart no he's knocking on what door church. Right? he's knocking on the door of the church like hey let me in let me you you've kicked Jesus out you pushed Jesus out of his own church or I think this is very common today uh, it you could say G- Jesus has been kicked out of churches or Jesus is replaced. Right? Going back to this theme of idolatry, that churches will replace the real Jesus with another Jesus, with fake, fake Jesus. The Jesus they have concocted in their own imagination. And this fake Jesus, it just so happens that he's just like them. And he agrees and affirms with everything they think. It's funny how that works. <laughs> this is, uh, of course, a form of idolatry, where you shape and mold a Jesus or shape and mold a God of your own imagination. And then that's the God that you're worshiping. But in reality, that God doesn't exist. And the God that exists, once people kind of go down that road, the God that exists is actually held in contempt because these people hold parts of the Bible in contempt. There are a lot of churches that would be absolutely enraged if certain parts of the Bible were preached on Sunday morning. What has happened? Assuming that some of these places are still, you know, they still have their lampstand, which obviously many of them don't. Mm -hmm. Jesus is outside, knocking on the door, wanting to come back in, and they're saying, no thanks, we got this, we don't need you. Now, they would never say that. The church at Laodicea, they obviously wouldn't say that. Hey, we kicked Jesus out. Mm -hmm. But that's what they did, because Jesus says so. All right, any comments on that? Am I being too harsh, or is that true? Is that, is that happening? It's happening. It's happening. 